In this tutorial, we're going to go over how to create formulas in Excel. And these are some very basic mathematical formulas. However, uh, this can be kind of your quick reference guide for how to create these. We have three different variables to start out with that we can pull from. We have uh, baseballs, a, a count of 350 of them. We have eight teams and we have 90 players. So we're going to use some math formulas and combine the columns and show you how to do that. Uh, first, to do some addition, say you want to have, uh, you want to add how many baseballs plus how many teams you have. Uh, not something you'd probably need to do, but we can show you how to do it. For every formula you ever create, you're going to start out with the equal sign. Anything you do in Excel, if you're going to use a formula, it always starts out with the equal sign. And then all you have to do is select the first thing that you want to put in the equation. So we're going to click on that cell. And you see that here and here that uh, Excel is placed in A2. So it references that cell. Now all you have to do is select the type of equation you want it to be. We want to add these two numbers together. So we click on the plus icon and then select the other cell. So we're adding A2 plus B2, hit enter, and that tallies it up to 358. That's if we're wanting to add. Say that we wanted to subtract that. The formula is the same, except instead of a plus sign, we change it to a minus sign. Now we have 342. All of that's very self-explanatory and it's something that you've been doing since you were in elementary school. So the same rules apply here. You just need to know the right syntax to put it in and Excel does the rest for you. Now let's multiply them. Take that away and replace the minus sign with the asterisk. The asterisk is what you're going to do if you want to multiply something. So we're multiplying 350 baseballs by eight teams and we have 2800. Now say we want to divide. We want to take the number of players that we have in the league, divide it by the number of teams to see how many are going to be on each team. So we'll delete all of that, select players, which is C2, and to divide it, it's just the slash and click on the other cell, B2. And we can see here that we're going to have 11.25 players on each team. And in other formulas that I show in other tutorials, I can show how to round those or even how to get a remainder. And that's what we would need in this one. Uh, but for this, we're just going to be using these four formulas and also the last one, which is the operand formula. The operand formula is the little hat that is above the six. To get it, you click shift and six, and that's going to give you the first number by the power of the second number. So in this case, it's gonna do 90 to the power of eight, which we can see takes to a very, very large number. And so uh, this is if you're going to do anything to the power of, you use that operand symbol. And for formulas, that's all you need to know in Excel. From there, you can just build upon those and also use them to uh, create dynamic functions uh, and results in all of your spreadsheets. 